I keep hearing about humic acid and fulvic acid, but what's the difference? Humic substances are um, divided into three fractions, actually. And these include the humic acids, the fulvic acids, and the human fraction, which is the fraction you don't usually hear about, and that's spelled H-U-M-I-N. Um, the definitions of these uh, three fractions are operationally based, and it's basically based on their uh, solubility in alkaline or acid uh, aqueous uh, solutions. Humic acids are, are um, soluble in alkaline solutions, and that's why we use uh, such extractions as KOH or ammonium hydroxide, because they have high pHs. The pH of an extraction solution might be uh, pH 13, so it's very high. Um, so humic acids are soluble at high pH, but insoluble at low pH. And this is why you don't want to add a humic acid solution to a acidic fertilizer, because they'll precipitate and then cause clog your spray heads if you're using it that way. Um, fulvic acids are soluble at all pHs. And then uh, the human fraction is insoluble. So when we're extracting it, the human fraction gets, gets left behind. In terms of the difference between humic acids and fulvic acids, uh, humic acids and fulvic acids are composed of thousands of uh, different molecules. And they, they are composed of uh, aliphatic the molecules, which are long carbon chains, and also aromatic molecules that, that are, for example, a benzene ring. And then you can have a couple of benzene rings attached to each other. Both of these uh, aliphatic and aromatic molecules have what we call oxygen-containing functional groups. For example, they can have an alcoholic group, or they can have a carboxylic group like acetic acid, otherwise known as vinegar. And so when these are in water, here's a water molecule here, water is actually uh, has charges on it. Oxygen has a negative charge, and the hydrogens have a slight positive charge. And so when you just have water by itself, these hydrogens can, can bind to the oxygen, and that's what gives water its surface tension. Well, these functional groups in the humic materials, as I've shown here, can the uh, phenolic hydroxyl, I call it, the alcoholic group, um, the negative charge on the oxygen can bind to the hydrogen positive charge in water. And same thing with the carboxylic acid, the positive charge on the hydrogen can bind to the negative charge, the oxygen. And this makes these uh, molecules soluble in water. The difference between humic and fulvic molecules is as we, as we decrease the pH, for example, if we have a potassium hydroxide solution, as you decrease the pH, the hydrogen will knock the potassium off of the alcohol. And it's, it becomes what we call protonated with this proton or this hydrogen ion. And so uh, fulvic molecules have a lot of these functional groups. They're able to, to bond, hydrogen bond with water and stay in solution. Whereas humic uh, molecules that are included in the humic fraction don't have enough of these oxygen-containing functional groups to bind with, with, the, with the, the oxygen or hydrogen in water to stay in solution. Thus, when we drop the pH, we make it more acidic, uh, the humic uh, molecules will drop out of solution and start to uh, coalesce or precipitate. Uh, and that's basically the difference between uh, humic and fulvic acids. Another difference that, that is uh, that was brought up and used to be brought up more than it is now is that humic molecules are larger than fulvic molecules. And this is only true to a certain extent. Uh, if you do a mass spec analysis, which gives you the formula for all the molecules that are present in humic and fulvic acids, uh, we, we grade them or we weigh them in terms of what are called Daltons. Uh, uh, for example, carbon weighs 12 Daltons. Um, and you can add all these up, like oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1. And the molecules uh, for both humic and fulvic acids in general range between 200 and 800 Daltons. The median for humic acid might be a little shifted to the right. The big difference is these oxygen containing functional groups, so that fulvic acid molecules have a lot more oxygen in them, whereas uh, humic molecules have a higher carbon content. But that's because of the difference in the, in the amount of 
oxygen-containing functional groups.